Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. Florida businesses are selling more than they were a year ago. In January, Florida businesses sold $71 billion worth of goods and services, up from $63 billion a year ago. It's a 12% increase, and according to the Florida Retail Federation, it's also a sign consumer confidence is rising. We're coming out of the recession, we're back on a normal pattern of growth, and I think you can expect to see sales continue to increase. The increase means Florida's budget picture is improving. Florida's budget is based on a consumption tax. So the higher the sales, the higher the sales tax. Rob Weissert, vice president of research at Florida Tax Watch, says the increase is good news, but it won't be noticed in the spending plan just passed by lawmakers. That budget really won't be affected directly. But again, as we have higher uh, revenues, we can have higher reserves, which is a positive situation for the state to be in fiscally. And even though it won't have an immediate impact on the state's budget, the increase in sales and tax collection could keep lawmakers from having to come back to Tallahassee in a special session to fix a budget shortfall. Lieutenant Governor Jennifer Carroll attended a groundbreaking for a new charter school Tuesday. Afterwards, she told me the extra money doesn't mean cuts will be restored. We'll be able to continue on a sensible budget and not increasing just because you have extra revenue doesn't mean you increase your spending. Health care and higher education will see the biggest cuts in this year's state budget, but if sales continue to improve, next year could be a different story. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.